Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in a Year 2021. This is day 168, and we are back to Proverbs <laughs> just for today, though. Uh, so we're back to Proverbs. We're going to look at uh, verses, or sorry, chapters 25 and 26 today. Um, and again, just highlighting a few of them because we could be here for hours going through each of these Proverbs. Um, these are probably some of the uh, less famous uh, Proverbs of Solomon. And uh, we find here in Proverbs 25, verse 2, it is the glory of God to hide something and the glory of kings to discover something. And what you've got to keep in mind all the time is that, uh, yes, the Lord hides things, but he doesn't hide them to keep them from us. He hides them for us to discover. Um, because you know what it's like when, if somebody gives you, um, you know, $50, um, you probably will not appreciate that as much as when you have to work hard and you earn that fifty dollars. The, the treasuries of of heaven, um, the, the treasuries of our King, um, should never be taken lightly. And and so it, it's like with the parables and and um, with with other things that we find in the Word, um, dreams that that kind of thing um, that they. It, it's it's hidden in plain sight. It's meant for us to find, um, but in order for us to understand these things, and that's what it refers to—the glory of of kings to discover something. We we have to press into the relationship because the key uh, is not a physical key. The key is Jesus Christ. The key is the relationship we have with Jesus Christ. The the relationship we have with Father. The relationship we have with Holy Spirit. Um, mm, yeah, so. That's important to understand. Okay, in verse six to seven, uh, we find some similar similarities here, and, and we should because it all comes from the same source as some of the things that Jesus taught. Uh, don't exalt yourself in the presence of the king or stand in the place of important people because it is better that he say to you, come up here than to be demoted before a ruler. And remember what Jesus said, like, if you get invited to a party, uh, don't, don't, pick, um, um, you know, the higher seat, pick the lower seat. Because if you pick a higher seat and somebody more important than you comes in, uh, then you will be embarrassed in front of everybody when the host tells you to move down. But if you, if you pick the poorest seat, if you pick the most humble seat, then the host will come and lift you up. He will exalt you in front of everybody by moving you to a more appropriate seat. And, and that, this is what we're getting uh, here. You know, don't exalt yourself in the presence of the king, you know, um, yeah, let, 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 let him do that. You, you pick the humble place. You, you come humbly before him. And instead of being demoted, you will be lifted up. Uh, and again, we find in verse 21 to 22, if your enemies are starving, feed them some bread. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. By doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. So this is familiar with what Jesus uh, instructed us as well. And we can understand this is all coming from the same source. Proverbs is when Yahweh or when Solomon had some kind of um, a relationship with Yahweh, and Yahweh was the source in his life at this time. Ecclesiastes letter is, later is where um, Solomon moved away from, from Yahweh. And so without that, that source in his life, he felt lost and despondent and, and so on. But at this time, um, he's tapped in, you know, so when Jesus is teaching, we hear some similarities, uh, understand it's, it's because, uh, Solomon is, is tapped into that, that source, uh, as he's bringing these things forward. Uh, I like the visual on this in verse 26, uh, righteous people giving into the wicked is like a contaminated spring or a polluted fountain. Uh, it, it wasn't that way. It, it, it wasn't a bad spring. It, it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't uh, a bad fountain. Um, something has been introduced to it uh, to make it uh, polluted and, and useless. And that's what it's like when a righteous person gives in to the wicked. Now, 28 is another good visual. A, a person without self-control is like a breached city, one with no walls. Okay, so that, 
that self-control which we have been given we have been given that so the holy spirit is is self-control in us it's that ability to say no to ourselves um that that is like a a defended city uh, and uh, i don't know if that helps you but uh, i like it just gives a, a clearer thinking tangible almost uh, when we talk about these sort of things um okay then over in proverbs 26 and verse 2 we read like a darting sparrow like a flying swallow so an undeserved curse never arrives see we don't get this because because we we get all upset when people curse us uh and and i have i've had i've you know, had to deal with, with um, Christians who say, you know, I've, I've been cursed or there, there are things, I, I believe that there are things like a, a family curse, something that somebody has opened in the family in, in the past. Uh, and, and this is a, a thing that gets passed down through, through generations. And when you become aware of it, you can break it off. You have that authority. But th this kind of cursing is, is you know, somebody um, who, who stands there and just calls down curses on you uh, and on your house. Those things can, can't touch you. They can't come anywhere near you. They'll never land on you. So don't worry about it. Uh, I wouldn't laugh in their face because that just it just provokes and causes more problems. Um, so, yeah, yeah. If this this is where your faith needs to come in, uh, you need to believe what the word says. Um, this kind of confuses people. <laughs> Verses four to five, uh, but I, I've heard it explained very simply. Is both are true. Uh, but you need to be attentive to the spirit to know which one to apply when. Don't answer fools according to their folly, or you will become like them yourself. Answer fools according to their folly, or they will uh, deem themselves wise. Uh, you can't figure which one to apply when. You really need to listen to the Holy Spirit on that, uh, because there's a season for both. Okay, so there's more reason uh, just to be walking in the spirit and uh, paying attention to him. Um, verse 18, like a crazy person shooting deadly flaming arrows are those who deceive their neighbor and say, hey, I was only joking. <laughs> um, I think we've all had people in our lives. Maybe we have been that person. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about, um, you know, when you're teasing somebody, uh, when you're joking around, we're, we're talking about something malicious. When you do something malicious, get caught and just pass it off and saying, oh, I was just joking. You know, and the only way that we're supposed to deal with those things is to confess them. Yeah, like I was really mad at you and I, and I did that and was wrong of me. And, and I'm sorry, I should have dealt with my, my anger in a different way. Uh, but just to pass off, hey, I was joking. You never get to a place of healing and, and you're just going to seed some really bad stuff there. So, yeah. Verse 24 to 26. Um, that's supposed to say, know who the haters are. Yeah, you, you should be able to identify people who you're involved with, who are in your life, um, who, who are haters, who may hate you, or, or um, you may not even know that they hate you, but you can see how they treat other people and understand if they treat other people that way, uh, then when you're not around, they're most likely treating you that way too. And so we, we read here, hateful people mislead with their lips, keeping their deception within. Though they speak graciously, don't believe them, for seven horrible things are in their heart. They may cover their hatred with trickery, but their evil will be revealed in public. So yeah, just be aware. Uh, if, if people gossip to you, then they're going to gossip about you. Uh, if, if people express hatred towards people around you, then, then when you're not around there, they're expressing hatred towards you. It's just, it's the, it's the nature of the heart, unfortunately, um, with these people who have not yet been redeemed uh, by Christ or have not, not accepted uh, the redemption uh, that the Lord holds out to them. Okay, well, that's, that's it for today. It wasn't very long today at all. Um, and we're going to go back to the timeline a bit. And um, eventually we will come back to, um, to Proverbs again. So you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and uh, enjoy the Lord. Just enjoy him today. Uh, laugh with him. 
uh, talk things over with him, just enjoy him. And uh, we will catch up with each other again tomorrow. God bless.